So let's look at our example. A box with a mass of 15 kilograms is on an inclined plane. It is attached to a second box with a mass of 20 kilograms via a massless cord and a frictionless pulley, as shown in the following diagram. Now, assume the inclined surface to be frictionless and the angle between the inclined plane and the horizontal is 30 degrees. Knowing this information, find A, the acceleration of the boxes, and B, the tension in our cord. Now, we make the assumption that our uh, pulley is frictionless and that our cord is massless. That means the force along any point in the cord is exactly the same. It does not change. Now, knowing this information, let's find part A. So we begin by examining the free body diagrams, the force diagrams for box A and box B. We're essentially setting up a system of equations with two unknowns and we want to solve for our acceleration unknown. So our system of boxes is going to move along this line. So it will move up and down. So let's begin with box one. Let's draw all the forces acting on box one. One force that is, act that is acting on box one is the tension in our rope and it's pulling box number one along the inclined plane. So if we choose the x-axis to be the surface of our inclined plane and the y-axis to be uh, the axis perpendicular to our surface as shown here, we have the following free body diagram. So one force, the tension in the rope given by F subscript T is pointing this way along the surface of our axis and the second force, the force due to gravity that's pulling down on box number one is shown here. Now the force of gravity actually acts perpendicularly to the surface on which our inclined plane is on. So it acts this way. So in order to find the actual component, the x component of gravity, we multiply the magnitude by sine of the angle. So sine of the angle 30 multiplied by mass times gravitational constant gives us what the force component is. So we know that, or we are told that our box one is moving this way. So let's choose this way along the x axis to be positive. So the sum of all the forces acting along the x-axis is equal to the tension in my rope minus sine of the angle theta multiplied by Fg, which is simply mass of object 1, box 1, multiplied by g. And this equals to the mass of object 1, box 1, multiplied by whatever our acceleration is. Now, this is what we're trying to find. Now, notice in this form, we cannot solve for A because we don't know what F of T is. So we have to set up a second equation, then solve for F of T and plug into the first equation, as we'll see in just a moment. So, let's sum up all the forces acting on box number two. So we have one force, force of gravity, acting downward on box two, pulling it downward, and the second force, force in the rope, the tension is acting upward. So, since our object 2 is traveling downward, let's say the positive direction is downward. So, the sum of all the forces is equal to force of gravity minus the tension equals mass of object 2 multiplied by A. So, we want to use equation 1. We want to solve for FT as we did right here. So, we bring this over to the right as shown. Then we take FT and replace FT in the second equation with these knowns. So we take this, plug it into here, and we get the following. So we distribute the negative, we get this, and we equate that to mass 2 times A. Now we bring all the A's to one side, and we get the following result. We take the A and we take it out. We get A times mass 1 plus mass 2, and then we take mass 1 and plus mass 2 and we bring it over as shown here and we find that acceleration of our object box 2 or box 1 is equal to the following formula so we plug in our values mass of, uh, mass of box 2 is 20 kilograms g is 9.8 meters per second squared minus sine of 30 is 0 0.5 
multiplied by mass of box 115, multiplied by the gravitational constant 9.8, divide that whole thing by the sum of the masses, 20 plus 15, so 35 kilograms, and we get 3.5 meters per second squared. So this is the acceleration of the two boxes of our system. So box number two is going downward, vertically downward, while box number one is traveling along our inclined plane along the x-axis in the positive direction as, cho as chosen previously. So now that we know our acceleration, we could use one of these equations to solve for our tension in the rope. So let's take this and let's rewrite it as we did here. So the tension in our rope, Ft, is equal to these values. So now we know what A is. So let's use this formula, plug in M1A and these knowns as we did here, and we get 15 times 3.5 plus sine of 30 multiplied by 15 multiplied by 9.8. We add these values up and we get a force of 126 newtons. So our tension in the rope along any point uh, along the rope is 126 newtons.